Richard Watterson is no stranger to feats of strength. I mean, he was the first one to beat the game Calculator. Okay, it's called Calculator. And he became absolutely built in a few days. Yeah, and quick too. It was under a minute. The power of Richard is on a completely different level. But what really stood out to me was this scene. Your mission is to save the president. Please hang up. This phone will self-destruct in 10 seconds. Unknown to me as to how much percent of his true power this really is, using a little bit of math and physics, we can calculate the strength Watterson used in this scene. So for some context, Watterson is seen speeding down a two-lane highway on his way to save the president from some robbers. Watterson is then able to swerve the car without stopping at all and jumps out, canceling all his momentum. Watterson is then able to dodge a rocket from a rocket launcher, which shows his unparalleled reaction time and strength. Finally, Watterson is able to break the door off an armored vehicle with his bare hands. What we've seen here is what I believe is just a fraction of Richard Watterson's true power, as he hasn't even broken a sweat, unleashing all he can on these petty thieves. When Watterson is driving down the freeway, we can calculate his momentum using the law of conservation of momentum. Through a quick Google search, we're able to figure out that a lamppost is about 14 feet, and then we can then reference this lamppost's height and the distance he travels to figure out how fast he's going. So the distance between lampposts is around three times the height of the post, and Watterson is able to cover this distance in around one second, which means he's traveling about 12.8 meters a second. Through an even quicker Google search, we can find out how much Watterson weighs, which is holy f 3,000 pounds! But we'll convert this to SI units, so around 1,400 kilograms. Using this information, we can find out how much momentum Watterson himself has as he leaves his car which comes out to be around 18,000 meters times kilograms per second. Through this, we can figure out Watterson's change of momentum as well, thus calculating how much force he's able to exert. The equation F equals DP divided by DT will give us this answer. Taking it frame by frame, we see Watterson is able to stop himself in around 0.03 seconds, thus efficiently canceling all his momentum, going from 18,000 to zero in around 0.03 seconds. Knowing Watterson's impulse to be an absolute value of 18,000 and dividing by the time, we find that just one of Watterson's legs are exerting almost 546,978 newtons of force. And that's just one leg. Taking it to be both legs, we can see that Watterson has a combined leg strength of over 1 million newtons. And this is on the low end. We know that someone's legs are around four times stronger than their arms, so we can divide the result by four to find that Watterson's one arm strength is around 136,745 newtons, which explains him being able to casually bend and disform the steel of an armored car's door. Finally, Watterson is literally able to manipulate space and time to his will. And we've seen him do this in other episodes. Watterson is able to dodge a rocket launcher, and don't mistake this for the villain's stormtrooper aim. Watterson is just moving so fast that you literally can't see him. Again, showing Watterson literally manipulating the space and time around him. Watterson was able to dodge a rocket moving at 260 meters per second, and does so in a fraction of some distance, putting his reaction time at almost 1.2 milliseconds on the low end. Watterson is one of the strongest super soldiers to have ever existed, and seeing just how powerful he is, with these calculations giving us an insight to just a fraction of his power, I think it's very clear that what we thought was the weak and lazy Richard Watterson is one of the strongest superhumans in disguise. But could he beat Goku though?